positively Muskegon, Andy O'Reilly today on board the LST 393 Museum down in Muskegon. This is Nancy Beeman next to me, and Nancy is one of these activist types, if you will. <laughs> She's taken on the uh, memory of all of these guys that you see behind us. This is the Vietnam Memorial Wall inside the LST 393. First of all, thank you. I know you're a little nervous. Oh, I am. I want you to feel comfortable. There's, okay. I mean, there's t five, ten people watching. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so we're down here today to talk about, you curate this entire area. How yes. did this come about? Tell me, tell me what you did. Well, I, I started many years ago collecting the pictures and the information of our Muskegon County um, KIAs and yep. MIAs. And uh, the display needed a permanent home. Okay. And uh, I met up with um, Dan and Ron here from the LST at a veterans, uh, some type of veterans meeting at the at the Causeway. Okay. And um, I was crying because I had nowhere to put all my guys. Sure. How many of them are there? There's 60. 60, 60 men that we lost in Vietnam from right here in Muskegon. Muskegon County. Muskegon County. I can only, I can, by, by law, the government counts their dead yep. by county. Okay. So I can only include Muskegon County. Well, that's fine. That's yeah. fair enough. What got you started on this project? What, what was your inspiration to start to remember these guys? It was... I, I don't know. God puts things on your heart and you just do it and don't you I know get that out of feeling. it. It's like, hey, I'm telling oh you. my. <laughs> How long have you been working on it? I, I, this probably is five, six years. Really? Yeah. But you've done an amazing job curating well, all you. these men back here that were lost in Vietnam. I understand that Beeman back there on that shirt came from somebody pretty special Yeah, that's my husband. And he, he, he did Vietnam? Yes. What branch? He was Air Force. Was he really? He, yeah. He was... Uh, uh, mechan not a mechanic, uh, radar technician okay. on the F 102s. Sure, that's amazing. And my yeah. dad was on a boat just like this in Vietnam. Yeah, he, by the time my dad got on the ship, it was turned into a repair ship. So it wasn't necessarily the lander that it was back in World War II. Mm -hmm. But uh, as he, he did his tour around Vietnam and all that stuff, I remember pictures. They had a big crane coming off the side of the ship and they fixed other ships and things like that. Oh, so yeah. I took my dad down here once for. Uh, tour before it really got filled up with museum stuff and he could tell me every door whose quarters these were here comes the mess hall here comes the it was amazing oh this is a beautiful show it really is and it's it's so open to all yeah all military era and it's, so it's important it's, too it's very important and i i really think andy that this might be the only museum in, in the state of Michigan that has allowed this much yeah. um, Vietnam veteran memorabilia here. Yeah. They've been very generous, very, very generous Good people me. running yes. this, yeah, they really Yes, have. and our group has uh, raised money to buy the, the cabinets and uh, the pictures, and we come down and help clean when we were needed. So, sure. Yeah. Speaking of raising money, you have yeah. got a new project you've just finished. I do. Talk to me about this new video that you've put together. I put together a video of each one of the Vietnam KIAs yeah. from the Vietnam War from Muskegon County okay. with their military information, um, with the pictures. I also included pictures of the final approach. Yep, out by Grand Haven Road. Yes. Yep. No, because no. that were so I created that with hopes to raise money to I I have already um, designed with the help of a, a gal down at Superior Monument. I've already designed a monument. It's going to be a black monument. It's probably going to be as tall as me, five foot something. Um, it's, it has a folded flag on the top. The center of it is the outline of Muskegon County. There will be a star for Muskegon. Um, and then under it, there will be each branch of the service. And we will, I hope, never have to put more than four of the names of our modern day warriors that sure. have passed, but there's room for more. But when you say modern day warriors, where does that start? Um, the modern day warriors, I don't know if 
anyone's ever given them a specific name like Vietnam veterans or World War II veterans. Um, but these are the young men that have been killed from our country since Desert Storm, Desert Shield. Okay. Yeah, that's a good. That's, we have four of them. Yeah, and that's that's a sad story, but it's, it's a, also good. It's also important to remember them as yes. time moves on. And I don't, I I don't think there is another monument in Muskegon County. Well, it's high time then. It really is. It's time to get one done. Yeah. yeah. This video, how, about fifteen minutes, you think? Yes. Somewhere in there. Yes. Historical piece. You're going to learn a little bit about these individuals, what they did. Mm -hmm. I know you took some time to put this thing together. Yeah. It was, how long did it take you to get the whole thing together? Well, when you keep looking at these faces yeah. and the eyes, you can only do it so many hours yeah. at a time. And uh, being my age, I'm not computer. No, I know the feeling. Being my <laughs> age, like, I'm not uh, either. <laughs> so it, it took me months. Did it? Because I can only work on it so long. Sure. But, um, it, these guys behind me, they helped. If something went wrong, it was, I could always count on one of them goofing up my computer, so I'd have to spend more time with him, you know? It's like I had him right at my shoulder saying, okay, come on guys, it's two in the morning, I wanna go to bed. Sure. I, uh, but it, it's just been so heartfelt. Yeah. It's just so heartfelt. And I, that's what I want people to see in the video, that, we can't forget these men. Mm -mm. They were young. They were 17, 18, Isn't that something? 19. A couple of them went into Vietnam and on the same day they were killed. I, it's just heartbreaking. Yeah. And I had um, four of my uh, guys from Ravana up there. My cousin is up there. Um, it's just heartfelt. Something you can't forget. And we can't let people forget. No, no. I, don't, I don't want people to forget. We can't, you no. never can. It, this is history and it's, it was hard putting it together and it was, and it's very hard for me to release it to the public. Well, but it's important to do it because you're yes. out to raise the money for this, 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 this monument. Mm -hmm. where, do, where do we start to find one of these things? How do we, is there an order, way to order one? Well, um, I will give you the address to the post office box Which for the what? Vietnam veterans. Okay. I don't know, Andy. Send right it to me then. Country. We'll put them on here. Okay. We'll make it easy for you. <laughs> okay. Because I'm nervous right now. Oh, you um, shouldn't be. There's nothing to be nervous about. I this am. is this is the kind of thing that we're all about. People like you who do amazing things like this that need to have a light shown on. Them. Yeah. And that's all we're doing here. And I just want I want the public to know too that this is no one will be earning any money from this right every every, every penny thing, goes toward the money oh my goodness yes i mean i just there would be no way i need to raise about ten thousand dollars ten thousand for and that is for the monument to be completely done and placed and that's leaving a couple thousand for it needs a foundation understood understood so i don't have all the logistics of that yet okay but if anybody knows me, they know that I'm a very honest person and the money will go exactly where it's supposed to be. I don't think anybody's questioning that. I don't, <laughs> I don't think, think anybody. So. And if you are, shame on you. Yeah. What are you thinking out there? Yeah. <laughs> and if you've got $10,000 sitting around. Oh, hey, that would make my life easier. I'm sure it would. Yeah. And what a great thing to uh, support. So if you're out there and you're looking for a great way to make a big donation, you might want to give Nancy a call here or send her a note. We'll get the address here on Positively Muskegon. What kind of thoughts do you want to leave us with before Memorial Day? Oh, just remember our fallen. Yeah. It's not a hamburger hot dog day. No, it's, it's, it's really not. It's a day for a memorial. Reflection and remembrance yes. and all that kind of yes. stuff. All that. You were all nervous about this. I Look know. how great you did. They all love it. Same out did. there. You did great. Wave. It's Nancy Beeman, everybody, here on Positively <laughs> Muskegon. The address and everything to get one of these DVDs will be on the website. Make sure you get it, use it. $20 a piece for the DVDs, and if you want to make a generous donation, how do you say no to a face like that? Nancy Beeman right here. Thanks, Nancy.